Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another English with Joseph. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about the British political voting system. Now, it sounds like a hard topic, but actually it's not. And I want to tell you, first of all, that I'm no expert in politics, so you can do your own research on this as well. The English-speaking world has a very strange system of voting. Perhaps you would think that when we vote in an election, that we gather all the votes together, we count them, and then declare a winner. Would that not be the logical thing to do? Well, actually, yes, but that's not what we do. As you would expect, there's a much more political structured system in place within most of the countries of the English speaking world. We don't get all the votes together and then count them. The reason why we don't do that is because in a country like the UK there is more people living in London than the entire population of Scotland. So if you did put all the votes together London would always be dominant and would win every election because there's more people there. So they have to have a system which represents the entire country. This system that we use is called First Past the Post. Let me explain. The system where you gather all the votes together, count them and declare a winner is called proportional representation. First past the post is where you see the election like a race. Okay, so when the votes start to come in, the government will say, or the people who look after the voting system will say, okay, 200 votes for Essex, 300 votes for west of Scotland, 200 votes south of Scotland, and they break it all up into different areas. They'll take the result from one area, then the result from another area, and then a third area. When they've done that, the first party to finish with so many votes wins. So it's a little bit, a little bit like a race. The political party who passes the post of winning first, however many votes that is, I don't know, wins the race. Okay, so let me explain again. But proportional representation is where you take all the votes, you put them all together, you add them up and declare a winner. First past the post is where the winner is the person to reach a certain number of votes with the counting beginning at different parts of the country. Okay, so London probably, I would imagine, is one of the last places where they'll count the votes because it's the most concentrated and dominant and is the most important. Okay, so they'll choose areas for Scotland, then Essex, then the West Country, then this part of the country, this part of the country, and then finally, oh, there's a winner. Now, you can look into the fairness of this, but as far as I can see, it would be one of the best ways to represent a country which has sparse populations in various parts, because otherwise they would just be ignored. Proportional representation and first past the post. Every time we have an election, there's always a voice which says, uh -huh, proportional representation is better than first past the post, we should use it. But we never change it, and it's been like that for hundreds of years. There was a big debate in Australia in recent years about whether they should use proportional representation or first past the post, because they also have populations in strange areas which may not be represented by the total vote. Anyway, that explains a little bit about proportional representation and first-past-the-post electoral voting systems. 
I hope you found this helpful. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.